Welcome to TMF Declaration Fundamentals. In this video, we will go through how to complete each section of your workers' compensation declaration form. Let's begin. Select the workers' compensation declaration form from your task list. This will take you to the section menu for this form. At the top of the screen, you will see which declaration form you are currently in, as well as your agency name and details of this year's declaration campaign. If any of these details are incorrect, please contact your internal TMF declarations coordinator or your iCare client engagement manager. There are a total of two sections in the workers' compensation form, workers and apprentices and mergers and splits sections. If you're a coordinator, both of these will initially be assigned to you and you can choose to either complete them yourself or delegate any number of them as required. If you're a delegate, you will only see the sections that have been assigned to you by your coordinator. Let's now have a look at each section in a bit more detail. Click on the Workers and Apprentices section. Your workers' compensation policy number will appear in the middle of the screen. Please check this is correct. If not, please contact your internal TMF declarations coordinator or your iCare client engagement manager. Scroll down and read the instructions in blue. These contain important information about how to complete this section. Scroll back up to the Employee FTE and Wages Registry Grid. Click Generate Registry Grid and then click OK in the pop-up window. This will populate the on-screen grid with the FTE and Wages data you declared last year. Please ensure you carefully review and update your previously declared FTE and Wages data. The FTE and Wages Grid as a combination of free text and drop-down fields, including mandatory fields that will show up in red. As a minimum, you will need to populate the mandatory fields to be able to complete this section. For detailed guidance on what is required for each field, click on the Download Instructions button in the section menu or refer to the links provided at the end of this video. You can sort the contents in each column in ascending or descending order by clicking on the heading of that column. To help you navigate the grid, you can use the scroll bar below or press tab on your keyboard to move left to right along a row when entering data. You can also lock individual columns in the grid by clicking on the lock icon in a column heading. This only works from left to right. To make it easier to view your on-screen registry grid, you can expand it into full screen view by clicking on the blue box at the top of the grid. To exit this view, click on the blue box again. Once you have finished populating the FTE and Wages grid, scroll down and provide answers to any clarifying questions related to your declared FTE and Wages. If you declared any professionals in the FTE and Wages grid above, you will be asked to provide detail of the activities performed by these professional staff. This is a new question for this year's declaration. Once you have answered these questions, scroll down to the FTE and Wages Variation Summary. If there is more than 10% variation in any of the listed categories from A to F, you will be prompted to provide clarification as to what may be causing this. Please provide clear and detailed answers. Once you complete the FTE and Wages Variation Summary, scroll down and enter your forecast FTE and Wages for all your apprentices for the next financial year. Please note, these apprentices should also be declared in FTE and Wages grid above. If at any time you need to save your progress or exit your session, click on the Back to Menu button on the bottom left of your screen. This will automatically save any data you have entered in this section so far 
and we'll return you to the section menu. Once you have entered all the required details, the Complete Section button will appear on the bottom right of your screen. Click this to go back to your list of assigned workers' compensation form sections. The section you've just completed will be marked with a pink checkbox. Its status will be updated and the section will be locked. If you need to go back and edit any content in this section, you will need to first click on the pink checkbox to unlock it. Let's now have a look at the Mergers and Splits section. Read the instructions in blue which explain the purpose of this section. Select Yes if your agency has undergone a structural change in relation to your workers' compensation policy since your last wage declaration. You will be asked to specify the category of structural change experienced by your agency and to elaborate on the actual changes that took place. For definitions of these structural change categories, click on the Download Instructions button in the section menu or refer to the links provided at the end of this video. You will then need to provide details of any staff that have transferred in or out from your agency, including which agency they came from or went to, by completing an on-screen grid. Click Add New Record to create a new entry and populate the mandatory fields in the on-screen grid as required. For detailed guidance on what is required for each field in the on-screen grid, click on the Download Instructions button in the section menu, or refer to the links provided at the end of this video. You can sort the contents of each column in ascending or descending order by clicking on the heading in that column. This may be a good way to check for duplicates. To help you navigate the grid, use the scroll bar below or press tab on your keyboard to move left to right along a row when entering data. You can also lock individual columns in the grid by clicking on the lock icon in the column heading. This only works from left to right. To make it easier to view your on-screen registry grid, you can expand it into full screen view by clicking on the blue box at the top of the grid. To exit this view, click on the blue box again. Once you have specified your staff movements, you will need to obtain executive authorization for these updates and provide details of this authorization below. Once you've entered all the required details in this section, the Complete Section button will appear in the bottom right of your screen. Click this to go back to your list of assigned workers' compensation form sections. You can download a PDF copy of your declaration form at any time by clicking the Download PDF button, which is available within every section of every declaration form. This will generate the contents of the entire declaration form, including all of the sections within it, as a PDF document. You can use this function to support your internal review and approvals processes or for general record keeping. We recommend downloading a PDF copy once all form sections have been completed and saving the file to your preferred location. Once all of the workers' compensation form sections assigned to you have been completed, the Submit button will appear in the bottom left of your screen. Please make sure you hit Submit and confirm your selection once you've completed all of the sections within your assigned task. If you are a coordinator, the Submit button will only become available once all of the sections within your assigned declaration form have been completed. Once the coordinator submits a completed declaration form, it will go to the nominator approver for that form. The approver will receive an email advising them that they have a new task pending their review and approval, and they'll be able to access this task from their dashboard. Once you submit a task, you will receive an email advising you that this task has been completed. 
completed task will now appear in your completed task list, which you can access from your dashboard. For additional guidance and videos on how to navigate and perform operations within our online declaration system, including instructional videos and cheat sheets on completing specific declaration forms, please follow the links on this page.